Hello friends, hoping you are doing great as always based on your comments and mails. We are going to choose today's topic. How has set works internally? I will go through all the details, all the fine points and explain each and everything bit by bit in detail. Let's start now. So, what is has set? It is a special collection, contains unique elements and doesn't allow duplication. Has set extends abstract set and implements the set interface. It uses a hash table for storing data internally and works on hashing principle. If you have any confusion in hashing principle, you can refer my earlier tutorials. You'll find all the details. So what is internal implementation of the hash set? Now, what happens internally when we pass duplicate elements in the add method of the set object, it will return false and don't add to the hash set as the element is already present question arises that how it checks whether element is duplicate or unique when you open the hash set implementation of the add method in java api that is java.util package java.util package you will find the following code in it you can see here public class hat set extends abstract set implements set clonable and serializable and here we are creating object of hash set it internally creates object of hash map so we are achieving uniqueness in set internally in java through hash map whenever we create an object of hash set it will create an object of hash map as we know in hash map each key is unique so what we do in the set is that we pass the argument in the add method as a key in the hash map now we need to associate some value object with the key so what java does java api did is to pass the dummy object as a value for this key so actually when we are adding a line in hash set like suppose hash set that add 3 what java does internally is that it will put that element 3 as a key and will associate a dummy object as a value now if you see the code of the hash map hash set add method you will find it internally implemented as map.put we can see here element is passed as key and dummy object is present as a by name present is passed here so the moon main point to notice in our code is that if map dot put key value returns null it means add method will return true and element will be get added to hash set If it returns old value of the key, then add method will return false and element will not be added to hash set. Let's go through sample exercises to understand the concept well. So let's go to Eclipse and we'll 
check it out here again I am referring earlier class with some modification we have two classes here imply and second is equals and I didn't change the name so there is separate class having main method through which we are calling in imply class there are th three parameters imply id name phone number we are creating setter getter here and we have created a constructor with three parameters imply id name and phone number we are passing there in main class we are creating two object of imply class with same value imply id as one name as key and phone number as 991031185 here again i am comparing both the object and here we have created collection of set we are adding to imply object in that set and here we are printing size of the set let it execute and find the result here we can see because set set also works on hashing principle so it is mandatory to override equals and as code both in imply class here so we will go step by step here we can see false both are not same because we have not uh, overridden equals method so by default they are comparing references and both the references are different that's why it is returning as false and when we are adding to imply object again we are not overridden equals and hash code so it is returning default implementation and both the objects are getting added here and we are seeing size as 2 now come to imply dot java class here and let it uncomment save it again execute and see the result here we can see now as we have overridden equals method if both the objects id name and phone number are same then it will return true so here id name and phone number are same so it is returning true but uh, again when we are adding both the object in set it is internally creating hash map object and imply one is passing as key imply two is passing as key and hash code method is being called in on both the keys as we have not worried and hash code method so for both the keys hash code will be different so both the objects will be get added now to make it properly work we need to uncomment hash code method as well save it run it and let's execute and see the result 
If you are finding any difficulty in overriding the high score method, then let it be overridden through Eclipse ID or whatever the ID you are using. Almost they do very efficient overriding of equal and high score methods. And come to in main class and execute it. Here we have overridden equals method, so it is returning as true based on content. Here, when I am adding imply one object, so what what is happening in the background? It is creating as map object where imply one is being passed as key, and one dummy object is being associated with that as a value so add method internally calling put method with imply one as a key and dummy object as a value so first time it returns null add method will be returned as true so first object will be get added here when we will add imply to again in backend has map will add one dummy value with imply to key and put method will be get called that will return old value so add method will return as false so second object will be get discarded so here when we are printing the size of the set we can we are finding here one so that's all for today please keep on writing your comments and queries and following me on fb twitter to get latest update see you soon bye